Egypt's Tahrir Square is once again the scene of brutal clashes, with police using tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse tens of thousands of protesters. The show of anger at a lack of reform comes before crucial elections and could carry the potential to paralyse the country once again. Arthi's Paula Slea is on her way to Cairo, joins us live now with the latest. Uh, Paula, thanks for coming on the programme. Uh, do tell us more about what's going on and why have people now returned to the infamous square? Well, this is the second straight day that there have been these violent clashes in downtown Cairo. According to the police, there's some 5,000 demonstrators, but we're hearing reports that tens of thousands of people have taken to the streets and thousands of people have been injured. The official figure is that yesterday two people were killed, that there were several thousand people injured yesterday. Really, the focal point being Tahrir Square once again. This was the scene of where we saw an 18-day revolution earlier in the year lead to the ouster of the former Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak. Now, people are incredibly angry. What protesters want is that the military government that has been in power since February give way to an elected government that represents the will and the desire of the people. And what many people are saying is that the military wants to stay in power. And in this way, they're not much, that much different from the former Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak. So those demands reaching a boiling point, people incredibly angry, as I say, and all of this coming just eight days before the first parliamentary elections to be held in the post-Mubarak period. What else is significant is that the leading voice behind these demonstrations is the Muslim Brotherhood, which is regarded as a terrorist organization in several countries. And this has caused many people, many observers, to say that we could be on the brink of a second revolution. Let's take a listen. If they repress this uh, Syrian style, this is going to get out of hand, especially against the Muslim Brotherhood. And if we see, uh, let's say, an enlargement of what's going on in Tahrir Square with all the factions of the Muslim Brotherhood, plus the Google generation, everybody in the square against the military dictatorship per se, which is something that could happen within the next few, few weeks, let's put it this way, then we're going to have Tahrir Square too. Well, what people are saying is that Mubarak might be gone, but what we're witnessing happening in Egypt is far from what the people hope for. We're witnessing sectarian violence, there are more clashes, and there are important social grievances that are not being addressed. All right, Artis, uh, Paulus Lear, they're live from Tel Aviv. Thanks.